What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So in case we haven't noticed, Gymshark launched some brand new sweat and fleck on the same exact day. I'm not gonna lie, that surprised me. I was expecting the fleck to come later in the month, but you know Gymshark and their little surprises. So I figured we would address both collections in today's video, being that they launched the same day. I got a lot of questions asking, well, what's the difference? I'm new to these collections. So here I am today to break it down for you. We will be talking about each collection individually. Then at the end, we're gonna throw them in the ring together and see which one's best for you. Thank you so much to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. Every single item you see in today's video will be linked down below. Here you can find my measurements and I'll also have them in the description box below for your reference. Everything in today's video is in my true size small. So if you'd like to brush up on some Gymshark launches, <laughs> take a look at my Gymshark playlist. I have over a hundred dedicated Gymshark videos here on this channel. Sweat and Fleck, I already did intense reviews on both of these collections. In fact, Sweat made its debut just last year, in like October, so it hasn't been very long. They did make some updates to that sweat. Much needed updates, mind you. They heard what you were saying. Fleck is a little more straightforward. Nothing really has changed with this one. This is a collection that's been very consistent. They always launch the same exact pieces. We're looking at sports bras and leggings. That's it. So let's go ahead and check out the Fleck first. For the Fleck color palette, we're looking at mineral black. It's basically black, but the fleck colors are just a light gray. Who guessed this was my favorite? You know me. If you look closely, teal base, aquamarine speckle. I wore this color to the gym, loved it. Evening blue. The base is that evening blue that we've seen before many times. The speckle is a dark navy blue. Sandstone brown. This is as nude as it's gonna get in this palette. You have a really beautiful warm clay color with a dark brown speckle print. This is the rogue piece of the group. The one piece that just doesn't wanna play by the rules, this color in this legging is it. This is their chocolate brown speckle. It's hard to see from far away. So if you're at a safe distance, you might think that this is a solid legging. It's not until you really come up close is where you see that speckle. Since I already have the leggings in my hands, let's go ahead and do a mini review. If you're familiar with this collection, nothing has changed since the last drop. Just new colors. Speaking of colors, this chocolate brown, I don't know what happened, but this chocolate brown is seriously so, so snug on me that I thought I sized down. All the other colors were just fine. They're super consistent, fit the same way, same amount of compression, the ease of getting it up, all virtually the same. For some reason, this was the odd man out where it was very hard to get past my hips and when I did squatting down I thought this baby was gonna rip yeah there's something about this color beware you're gonna have to size up completely if you even decide to get this one but like I said the other colors totally true to size I would only ever suggest sizing up if you're in between sizes a couple things worth noting about this legging when you feel it it feels rough to the touch it's got a little bit of texture it's still soft but not silky buttery soft material the waistband is very squared off they don't have a tapered band, nothing like that. It's a very squared off band with not a ton of compression. From my experience, because the rest of the legging is pretty compressive, it shocks me that the band just isn't there. It doesn't quite match up with the rest of the legging. In fact, when I squat, I see a little baby band gape. That's with all of the leggings. Not enough to be exposing, nothing to worry about, and I definitely wouldn't size down because of that. If there was less space in this glue area, I wouldn't comfortably be able to wear this legging. So much so that I'm gonna go ahead and say, if you have a plump dump, like you hip thrust and everyone knows it, this is gonna be the area that might give you some problems. I know I'm on the brim of this being a little too small for me. The material is relatively stretchy, I'll give it that, but not to the point where it's super accommodating for big booties. I do believe that this raised seam contour works wonders. Without it, I do think it would have caused a uni butt. Couple things I really do love about this legging though, I have to say, it's pretty good with cellulite. Sweat concealment, nice. Length, perfection. Five foot three, ooh yeah. In terms of squat proof, it's about 90% squat proof, especially in this light color. Not the most breathable legging, however, because it is a very dense, thick material. But with that being said, it's super durable. This is the quintessential lifting legging, in my opinion. If you have weights touching, rubbing around, you're deadlifting, this is what you wanna wear. You're not worrying about it being super fragile where it's gonna tear and rip. Even though there's no front seam, I get a slight dreaded CT. Nothing extreme, but sometimes I have to do a little bit of uh, 
maneuvering and readjusting. Let's chat about the Fleck bras. Something worth noting, even though the chocolate brown leggings were super tight, oddly tight, I didn't feel that in the bra. This chocolate brown bra fit like the other ones. Nothing has changed since the last launch. I've always felt that these bras ran snug. I think it might be the double lining. You know, there's two bras in one, mind you. This is a unique look to this collection. In fact, I really like this sports bra. I think it's beautiful. Top layer has way more coverage. Underneath is more of a V-neck sports bra. And here is where you'll see a marl design. So even though the top is fleck, underneath is straight marl. The thing with this bra is it gets a little squirrely. Even though it fits very snug and my instant gut reaction is, oh, I should have sized up. It does dig into the back, around the arms. It can be a little uncomfortable after a while, but I wouldn't want to size up because me, with my measurements, I don't have a lot of chest. This bra requires some chest. <laughs> So if you were to size up and you got small girls like me, you're gonna have a lot of extra space right here in the bra area. In other words, it's not the most flattering. I actually would love to see them take this top layer and be gone with it. Put a little more of a V going out here, show the girls off a little bit, and then, and then we'll talk. But I see why they added the top layer. They do the two layers to add more support to the bra. Me, I don't need that much support. But if you do, that's good for you, right? So you still have the removable bra pads, no adjustments at all in the back, even though, the eye may fool you. You might think that these plastic pieces are adjusters. They're not. So yeah, this bra's got a lot going on. There's a lot of potential in it. I just feel like for me and my preferences nowadays, I would like to see a little less material. Now, even though Gymshark has launched long sleeves in the Fleck before, they didn't this time around. And you know what? I can't help but notice they never released Fleck shorts either. Okay, these colors all together just make me happy. They look like a really pretty pastel rainbow. You remember those pastel Skittles they came out with? <sighs> We're looking at evening blue yet again. Hello, terracotta pink. Dusty olive. Ooh, this is such a pretty olive green. In fact, when I teased this color palette on my Instagram stories, my sister-in-law, she's 14 years old, she DMs me and says, that green is giving. She's right, this, this green is giving. I think that just means it's awesome. <laughs> My sister-in-law and I are very close and she just recently started to get into Gymshark. I'm so excited because now that's all we ever talk about. Aerospace orange. I grabbed them in the shorts because bright colors in the shorts is a necessity and paradise blue. This looks so familiar. In fact, I think I have an energy seamless set in this exact color. One of my very first ever purchases from Gymshark was Energy Seamless. This color was it. Now they're calling this paradise blue and the blue back then was called tropical blue. I think it's the same blue. <laughs> Got you Gymshark. So in this collection, they dropped leggings, sports bras, two different types of sports bras to be exact, shorts, a long sleeve top and a vest. Let's start with the leggings and shorts. They got rid of the thong contour. That was the biggest complaint that I got in my DMs was why the thong patch, why? I'm trying to conceal my underwear, not pronounce anything. So really nice improvement there. Everything else is still the same. It's that dynamic material that they use, which is buttery, soft, nice and stretchy, very thick and durable material. Now they kept the band the same, that really nice curved band. How do we feel about that? I actually love it. Let me tell you why. I feel like this band, out of any other band they've ever come out with, snatches the waist like I've never seen. It makes my hips literally pop. It gives me hips, in other words. If you look closely on the waistband, there's a three panel ribbing. The rib at the very top is super thick and then it goes down to being very minimal. Really helps with that triangular cut, emphasizes the waist. The waistband is so compressive, so freaking compressive, whereas the rest of the legging isn't nearly as compressive. <laughs> No seam breakups, no contour paneling, but you do have a ton of the eyelet designs. This goes down the leg. They spread out really nicely across the calves, but something worth noting is that this isn't very cellulite friendly. So if I'm in between sizes, I would size up because if this waistband was any smaller, it'd be a little too small where it's just digging uncomfortably. The green was very compressive on me. I noticed the band dug a little too much. Sizing up completely. There's pros and cons. Less compressive waistband, so it might fit better around the waist area, but you're also gonna be compromising the fit underneath the band. There's potentially going to be more wrinkle. That's the only thing that's stopping me from sizing up a full size. 
I can't help but notice with this material where it meets the band gets really wrinkly. So you can see it in this overlap footage. When I walk to, you can really see that wrinkle. I just feel like if I were to size up, you're asking for way more wrinkle. This material is so subject to that. Overall, I'd say true to size would be your best bet. Stick with your true size. The length is long. For my tall gals, hey, this is the one you wanna go with. In terms of sheerness, they were okay, totally passable for the gym. I'd give it more of an 85% squat proof. Again, it ultimately depends on the lighting. No dreaded CT. When it comes to the back area, I feel like it's okay on the glutes, just okay. I feel like this material gives me a slight uni butt, but I also understand that it's not always about that. It's about the functionality of the legging, what you're actually gonna be using it for, how it performs in the gym. And I do feel like the sweat collection is a very gym-friendly collection. I didn't notice any crazy differences when it came to the colors. I think if anything, the olive green felt a little more snug around the waist, but other than that, the leggings were very consistent. I actually still, to this day, prefer the sweat shorts over the leggings, and that's saying something. I feel like the cinching in the thigh is at such a minimum where I don't feel weird wearing them. These don't bother me like that. I am a huge fan of the sweat shorts. I said this in the previous review that I prefer the shorts over the leggings, and I'm still gonna go ahead and say that. I think these are at such a beautiful length where they're not gonna roll and snatch so easily as if they were really short shorts. Squatting in these no roll up, I didn't wear them to the gym though. So I don't know how they're gonna hold up if you put your legs up on a leg press or do hip abductor machines and things like that. I also feel like the shorts, you don't see as much wrinkling. Is it just me? I feel like there's a better lay overall. So I think that the less material, the better when it comes to sweat. <laughs> I don't know. In terms of sports bras, we now have two to choose from. Say hello to the new Sweat Seamless Longline Sports Bra. So first you got the standard Sweat Seamless. This launched last round. Makes the girls look so unreal, but there's some downfalls. You absolutely need to size up in this bra. I actually forgot to size up this time around, and when I got it in, oh, I was upset because it's just, this band is so freaking tight, so tight. When I got it around my head, I was like, damn it. You got double thin straps that lead into a sewn back thong, a little mini one right here. Now I will say, this holds the girls in really well. There's a real good level of support, even though it plunges. You still have the removable bra pads, everything stayed the same, the heavy rib at the bottom band here. My only takeaway from this is you just have to size up. This is super uncomfortable because it's so freaking tight. The new long line, however, I think they corrected some of the sizing issues with this one a little too well. And what I mean by that is it's really wrinkly. <laughs> they added more coverage in the front, which I think is great because not everybody wants a ton of cleavage when working out, especially. Some people are actually at the gym to work out and not just put on a fashion show like me. So you still have the straps that go in the back here. They do crisscross and they are adjustable. You have two plastic pieces that adjust. These two adjustable straps control the width of this band right here, the area underneath your armpits, but it is a lot less compressive than the other sports bra. So I'm wearing my true size small, as you can see, the wrinkle is insane. If you're in between especially, size down in this sports bra rather than up in the other one, they're very different. <laughs> you do have removable bra pads in this as well. Overall, I would say this is not necessarily a ton more support, but it's definitely more coverage. I'm actually a huge fan of the cropped tank that they launched. You can even see the silhouette, just looking at it right here, the ribbed area really cinches you in. This band also helps to keep it in place. This way, if you're really moving around at the gym, the tank's not sliding up, it's not moving around, it's staying put where it needs to be. You can even see, look off to the side, they added a little extra space here for your boobies. You have a lot of the tiny eyelets all around, right on the back. They have a panel going straight down the spine. They added in a low keyhole design. And if you're wearing the matching sports bra underneath, you will see the shark face logo coming through. Overall, the fit is very true to size. I think it's very flattering, a nice piece to add to the set in case you want a little bit of coverage on the tummy area. No digging in any awkward places. Overall, a solid tank top. And last but not least, let's just briefly talk about this long sleeve I've been wearing throughout the entire video. Do you remember the Breeze Lightweight, those long sleeves? Ah, they really gotta bring back that Breeze Lightweight. Let's petition for that next. This is pretty much the same thing. That tank was very dense. This is a super feather, lightweight, stretchy piece. You have a lot of length here. 
Look at, this is covering my hands and there's no thumb holes to be had. If you're in between, definitely size down with this. It's got an oversized fit. Now I have this tucked in, but if I were to tuck it out like this, you have that draw cord like the Breeze Lightweight did. So you can make it very boxy if you'd like, add a little bit of length, cover up the torso, or like me, completely cinch it in. This is a really nice lightweight long sleeve to add over a set. They added the eyelet details right where they should be, right underneath the armpits, okay? It makes sense for the sweat collection because you're gonna sweat in it, right? Okay, so now's the part of the video where we're gonna discuss the key differences between the two collections. There's a lot of similarities, but there's also a lot of differences. If you're somebody where material really matters, you want as soft as can be, sweat is where you wanna be. Why did I say that? This is a very soft, buttery soft material, whereas the Fleck has more of that durability, that little grit grime feel to it. Breathability, you might wanna grab the sweat. Between the eyelet designs and the material itself, this is just gonna be best for wicking sweat and keeping you cool. The fleck is very insulating. This is like a thermal legging, almost like the camo. It's also gonna make your sweat soggy. <laughs> This material won't wick as well as the sweat, but what it does do is it conceals the sweat. Band compression and support, obviously the sweat. This has 10 times the compression. Cellulite, this conceals cellulite like no other. Short gal friendly, the Adapt Fleck. For my tall gals, sweat collection. Which one's more flattering on the peach? I gotta hand it to the Fleck. Overall leg compression, not waistband, just the leg. I have to say they're super similar in that department. They are. The biggest compression difference, it's all in the band. Overall comfort, I'm still going with the Fleck, 100%. When it comes to the waistband, it has to be ultra comfortable or else I can't wear it all day. This would be something I wear to the gym and then take it off. Overall aesthetic, I'm gonna have to give it to the Fleck. Not just so much the Fleckle. <laughs> I'm talking about how it lays as well. The wrinkle in the sweat is a little deterring for me, especially when you compare it to the Fleck. Durability, this one's tough. I will have to go with the Fleck ever so slightly more because you don't have that real buttery, slippery, soft material. This is more of that rough and tough material. I also have to say because there's literally no seam around the waistband on the Fleck and you do have it here on the sweat, that could cause potential seam lifts, a little shedding of the seam, and honestly, last but not least, affordability. These are practically the same price. They're both $60 leggings, and I even believe the sports bras are like the same price, maybe a dollar off from each other. Me personally, if I had to choose between the two, my heart will forever be in the Adapt family, and I don't think that there's a legging that will make me change my mind. Drop a comment below, are you team Fleck or are you team Sweat? Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And if you did and would like to see more, definitely consider subscribing. It helps this channel out more than you know. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and I will catch you in my next video.